That's all right, Kristen, because you know what? I'm at the same level as you, so we can get out on the court together. Well, I'm hungry after watching Kristen play all that tennis, and an omelet is an easy, delicious breakfast, but it can also look like a disaster sometimes. So here to talk about the secrets of making a tasty French omelet and so much more is instructor chef Sheila Cry. Welcome to Great Day Washington. Thank you, Marquette. So, so what type of omelet are you making today? We are making a, a mushroom omelet with shallots and parsley. Okay, so a nice savory omelet. How do you even get started? Because the French chefs make it look so easy, Chef Sheila. Well, you start with a nonstick skillet and a hot pan. You see that we have brown butter and I've put in a mixture of, of mushrooms from the farmer's market, the Bethesda Central Farm Market. I picked these up on Sunday and uh, you just toss them around. If you were a restaurant chef, you could saute them, but if you're a home cook, you can just toss them around. You want to have a pretty hot pan because that way you uh, seal in the juices. They don't steam, they, they saute. So you want your pan to sizzle, and what I noticed is you did the mushrooms first, and now you're doing the shallots. When, when I try it, many people at home can maybe relate that the shallots or the onions tend to burn more quickly. That's right, and that's why I took it off the stove. So very actively making the omelet here. It's not something you turn around and leave for a second. No, you sure don't. Beautiful. So, so now you're, you're emptying it out. Right, and, and now we're going to do the egg part. Ah, so you're pre-cooking, okay. And these are eggs from free-range chickens. You, you, uh, to uh, open the egg, you knock it on the counter and then open it with your thumbs. Okay, there you go. So this is a three egg omelet here. That's right, and a pinch of salt. You can add a little pepper. I usually like white pepper with omelets, but I ran out, so we have black we pepper. Improvise, right? Now you say omelets can be a breakfast, but they can also be a snack or a lunch, as you see on your screen there. And years ago, you fell in love with omelets by watching TV, like a show that we're on right now. Exactly, yeah, I saw a uh, five minute demo, how to make an omelet by a French chef, and uh, it stuck with me. So you wanna use real butter for an omelet, something mysterious and wonderful happens when the butter combines with the eggs. And it's okay if it gets a little brown, it just adds a nutty flavor. And then you shake and stir. Oh, wow, shake okay, and stir. so you shake and stir. So it might seem like you're making a, a scrambled eggs, but what you wanna do is to create the smallest curd possible. So when it starts to look like, that like, is such like a good tip. When it starts to look like custard, then you put the your pre-made. Because I think what a lot of people mushrooms may do in the middle is they they don't stir it, and so then it's it's juicy in the middle. Um, so that was a great tip. Okay, right, so now you're right. about to make the, so, the French fold. Right. So you pick up the the omelet pan like a broom handle, and fold over the top and scoot it down to the bottom and flip it over and nice. there you have it and the the french omelets are so sort of torpedo shaped right so right. you just do that with with your silicone spatula at the end and add cheese and greens and i must say before we leave you Chef Sheila has cooking classes for children as young as eight. There are two summer camps coming up soon. We have the recipe and her information on our website. I'm gonna take a taste of this omelet and we'll be back with more Great Day Washington after this. <laughs>